We got a question asked the other day, Coach Steve. The coach is just starting to go up to the 50-70 field and they need to hold runners on. The coach has no idea how to teach the first baseman kind of the footwork around the bag. Can you show us how to hold a runner on and what happens when the pitcher actually delivers the ball to the plate, what the first baseman actually does? Yeah, definitely. You want to make sure that your first baseman is in athletic position. So I always say, you want to put your right foot kind of right up flush against the side of the base here. And then we're going to take our left foot out somewhere between the pitcher's mound and home plate. We don't want to start too open because on a bad throw, we're not going to be able to make a catch around the runner. We don't want to start off too closed because then we're not, not athletic moving back this way. So we're going to kind of split the difference right in between the mound and home plate. And we're going to get nice and low, nice and athletic, and give that pitcher a target. Lefties, obviously, it's a little bit easier because it's an easier tag. They're working straight down. Righty's going to be here. Target out. Okay. From this position, as soon as the pitcher delivers the ball to home plate, we have to get off the base quick. A lot of times, first baseman, they're so concerned with how far out they get, they take a big shuffle off, and the ball's already hit past them. I'm not concerned with how far out they get, I just want to make sure that they're set. So we always say one step and one shuffle. So I'm here, I take one step, one shuffle, and now I'm ready for that ball to be hit. Notice, I got inside the baseline, all right? Not coming off the base right behind the runner, because now if I field it, I'm gonna throw it right into the back of his head. I want to create a good angle. Get down low, one step, one shuffle. So now when I field it, I have a good throwing lane to my shortstop for a double play. Awesome, that's perfect. I think that'll help a lot of the coaches out there that maybe never played first base. That's a great way to teach it, awesome job. If you enjoyed this video and wanna see more like this, visit our website at www.dominatethediamond.com.